a special tribute and final homecoming for the late Norm Mineta, a man who helped shape the city of San Jose. We say good evening to you. I'm Ryan Yamamoto. Hi, I'm Sarah Donchi. This evening, the city of San Jose is paying tribute to Norman Mineta. He served as mayor, congressman, and history-making cabinet member. He devoted his life to public service, representing San Jose. Today, his widow brought his ashes home as people lined the streets to pay their respects. Tomorrow, a public ceremony will be held to remember him. Former President Clinton will be among the speakers. But as KPX 5's Ket Dose reports, today was all about his hometown saying goodbye. Mr. Mineta's cremated remains travel thousands of miles from the East Coast and are finally here at San Jose City Hall, where he will lay in state throughout the day. The community came out today to say welcome home. As Norm Mineta landed at the airport that bears his name, while his motorcade passed through his childhood neighborhood of Japantown, amidst the outpouring of love and respect, it all begs the question, was he a friend, a hero, or a public servant? Perhaps all of the above. Longtime civil rights activist Blanca Alvarado was a close friend. These moments of reflection are a tribute to a man who was everybody's BFF. As the procession winded down Fifth Street, Mineta's wife, Danny, looked on at the San Jose Buddhist Church Betsuin and the young children at Lotus Preschool. Today, they learned Mineta was San Jose's first Asian American council member and mayor, who served 10 terms as a U.S. congressman and later as transportation secretary. Knowing that uh, Mr. Mineta has come from the San Jose Japantown community, it makes a difference. And maybe they don't quite get the whole thing now, but they will. The procession passed by his childhood home, a home he was forced out of in 1942 to be imprisoned in a Japanese internment camp for two years. Boy Scout Troop 201 learned how he rose above the racism of the day to become the first Asian to serve as a cabinet member. And so for them to understand that uh, there's somebody that looks like them can uh, grow up to be a leader in today's, uh, today's America. Knowing how he lived his life and how he was selfless and served the people around him, I think that's how I would want to live my life. The procession stopped by Wesley United Methodist Church, where Mineta went every Sunday and sat not in front, but in the middle with everyone else. He just had such uh, uh, humility about him that it was always about what he could do for others. Mineta's modesty was legendary. Alvarado told the story of how he reacted when he landed at his namesake airport for the first time. I feel proud and honored, and then I am reminded by my wife to take out the garbage. <laughs> Alvarado said it best, Norm Mineta did it, not for glory or prestige, but for the common good. He was the most impactful person in the history of San Jose. Norman Y. Mineta will always be our friend. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX 5. A well-deserved homecoming there. Well, we posted more about Norm Mineta's background and his time in the internment camps, including the story of his unique friendship with a fellow Boy Scout that lasted through Congress. You can find it on the homepage at kpix.com.